Hey guys, welcome to another video and today I have an MCQ for you guys which is a little tricky but the moment uh, if you were able to catch the trick that we use here I think then this question becomes pretty simple. It's a question from set theory so we have two sets here. Let x be the set uh, set of values. What values? Values where 4 to the power n minus 3 n minus 1. Values generated by 4 to the power n minus 3 n minus 1 where n is a natural number. And y is the set of values generated by 9 times n minus 1 where n is a natural number. So these are the two sets with you and you need to tell what is x union y. So either what you can do is you can just start putting in natural numbers in there and, you know, figure out what kind of values X will have, what kind of values Y will have. Otherwise, I'll just tell you a simple trick to figure out what X actually contains. So X is equal to the set of 4 to the power N minus N minus 1, where N is a natural number. So what is of key importance here? The key importance is to is to be given to 4 to the power n minus 3 n minus 1. Now, if you observe 4 to the power n minus 3 n minus 1, 4 to the power n is nothing but 3 plus 1 to the power n. I can say so, right? So, it's 3 plus 1 to the power n. Now, what I'm going to do here is I know binomial expansion. So, use binomial expansion. So we know that 1 plus x to the power n is nc0 x to the power 0 plus nc1 x to the power 1 plus nc2 x to the power 2 plus so on and so forth till ncn x to the power n, right? That's what it is, right? So I'll be using this concept here in 1 plus 3 to the power n. So what we can say is 1 plus 3 to the power n is 3 to the power So 1 plus 3 to the power n would just be 3 to the power 0 n nc1 that is just n n 3 to the power 1 nc2 3 to the power 2 nc3 so on and so forth and it will go on till say ncn 3 to the power n okay now the x the the term that we have the term that we have is 4 to the power n minus 3 n minus 1 so that becomes 1 plus 3 n from here plus nc2 3 square plus nc3 3 q plus so on and so forth till ncn 3 to the power n minus 3 n minus 1. So which means that 1 and 3 n it cancels from here and all I am left with is 9 times nc2 plus 27 times nc3 plus so on and so forth ncn into 3 to the power n. In other words, clearly 9 comes out common. So whatever you have here is a multiple of 9. It's 9 times something, right? It's 9 times something. So whatever this is 4 to the power n minus 3 n minus 1 will result in, it will result in 9 times something, right? So it's a multiple of 9. So 4 to the power n minus 3 n minus 1 is a multiple of 9 for all n greater than or equal to 2, okay? You can again check when you put n equals to 1, you will get 4 minus 3 minus 1, that is just 0. For 2, you will get 16 minus 6 minus 1, that is 9. 
and so on and so forth. So just at one, it is zero. Then it's these are all multiples of nine. So x, the set contains x, the set contains all multiples of nine. Y is n minus 1 into 9. That is what it's given, right? 9 times n minus 1, where n is a natural number. So y contains, y, if I start giving it values, y contains 0, then 9, then 18 and so on and so forth okay so clearly if you observe it's what you will be getting why would contain more elements okay why would contain you know uh, it's it's like a table of nine going on so uh y would contain more elements and x you will have to observe that with certain values, you can observe that x is actually a subset of y. It's a proper subset of y. Proper means that they're not equal. It's a proper subset of y. A proper subset means that x is absolutely inside y. If that is the case, then what will the union be? The superset is the union. So therefore, x union y is equal to just y and we do have that option b is the correct option okay so b is the correct option these are the kind of questions could be asked in any entrance for that matter you just have to be a little observant and if you are short in time maybe uh, you can't uh, you know, think of tricks there, then just start putting in the natural numbers and, and figure out uh, what these sets actually would be. And you can very easily get the answer. Why I have done this trick is not just for this question. This trick might be helpful to you in some other question as well, where binomial expansion could be used and things could be simplified. I hope this will help. Thank you.